Hey guys, what's up? At Game Zone T here, and um, I'm starting to brush it in career mode. So um, I'm just gonna jump straight into it, you know. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the preseason tournament. Extra money, get to know the players. Um, I chose Borussia Dortmund because it's actually my team. I, I've always loved Borussia Dortmund, they're my club. And um, can you put it out there, I'm really upset about Aubameyang. Um, I don't mind Batshuayi though, he's a good player. I've actually signed him in previous career modes, he's pretty good. And um, I, li I like what I see when I watch him in real life. But um, Aubameyang is still always gonna, we're, uh, we're gonna miss him. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the game that's in this. Um, I haven't. Tr I'm not gonna trim any of the footage because I want to take the time to talk to you guys and let you know what's going on. Um, and also, I I'm gonna have a system. For now, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the one who chooses. But um, in time, when I have more viewers, I'll let you guys choose in the comments what the goal of the game was, and I'll I'll announce it in the last game or in the next video but um basically um it's just a goal of the game which goal i think was the best when there's when it's a nil nil draw and whatever i'll probably just say a meme or something anyways we've got um few few different things for our objectives and um they seem achievable i've done a dortmund career in 17 and it was really fun but um basically i'd like to go ahead and say that this this series is inspired purely by watching MGH. He's a great YouTuber. I enjoy all of his career modes. They're all very interesting to watch, and it gave me tips on how to play and who to sign and how to keep it realistic. It's, he's a good YouTuber. I'd go check him out if I were you. But um, basically, um, I've got six minute Habs on, and I'm playing currently on World Class. In the future, that might change. I might change it up to Legendary once I once I get. You know, um, when I, well, once I start the season, I'll just say that. Once I start the season, I'm going to change it to Legendary, most likely. Anyways, um, I went ahead and hired a youth scout, and um, he's going to go straight to Germany, I believe, for nine months. Um, I usually get pretty lucky with hiring these scouts, so I was pretty happy about this. Anyways, um, I think I also go ahead and try to sign, or I go ahead and search at least for Kim Pembe from PSG. Um, Dortmund does business with a lot of French clubs, so I figured that was realistic enough. I'm always going to try to keep the, the career mode realistic, but unless it's something outrageous like something I'm doing in the future, but not telling you guys for now. Anyways, um, I went ahead and tried to sign Kim Pembe to my knowledge, or maybe, I'm, I'm not too sure. Anyways, I'm always going to be doing voice voiceovers for this as well, so that's, I might stutter a couple times if I do. I'm sorry guys, don't mean to. Um, if I were live, it'd be a different story, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do on this budget. But basically, um, any feedback you guys will give me on this series, or just in general, would be very appreciated. I, I don't care if you're, gonna, if you're gonna be the typical commenter and tell me to go kill myself, but whatever you got, go ahead, bring it on. Anyways, um, I think, yeah, I do get to the Arsenal game in this, in this episode, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty interested to do this series. I've always loved doing Dortmund careers, and to be sharing it with possible viewers, that's always pretty cool, too. You know, you guys might teach me a couple things, actually, because I'll definitely be checking out the comments, always. But um, I know the first video for the series is going to be long, I promise they won't be longer, or they probably won't be as long in the future unless I do like three games in one recording. But um, I will be trimming and cutting some of the footage out in future episodes, but for now I'm not going to be doing that. Anyways, I went ahead and did some training because training is very important to me in this game, and um, I, I enjoy doing it, you know, it's a good way to get your players more, more value more, what's it called, profit, you can profit off them more, and also more experience for them, but anyways, um, now, I think I choose Gu Guerrero, I don't know how to say his name, whatever, yeah, probably, but, um, in the future, I'll be talking a lot more about my training options, probably strategically as well, I'm a huge strategist, so I play a lot of strategy games, 
Um, an example of how strategic I am be my Minecraft video. I made Minecraft a strategy game. But um, anyways, there's all, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just because this is when I search for Kimpembe, I'm gonna just announce that my channel will probably be having to do with FIFA, uh, maybe some Ultimate Team, definitely career mode, maybe even a random tournament with some friends, but I'm also going to be doing Overwatch, Fortnite, maybe some Minecraft here and there for all the 12 year old fans I might gain, but um, you know, whatever guys. I don't always have time to game, but when I do, I like to do it, and it's always been a dream of mine to try YouTube out, giving it a go. But, um, anyways, Kimpembe's a really good player, and I forgot that I actually couldn't sign him because it wouldn't give me the options. It only gave me these options, and um, it's disappointing because I usually sign Kimpembe on a Dortmund career. Um, actually, I've only done two, and both times I signed him, but basically, he's a really good player. Like. He's underrated in this game. If you guys are looking for a very good young center back, I'd definitely recommend him. I used to always, I used to sign Varane, Varane, however you ever say his name, from Real Madrid, and he was pretty good. But you know he's a lot more valuable now and expensive, so I stick with Kimpembe for this. Anyways, like I said earlier, Batshuayi, he's he's not a bumming, but he is a good player. I signed him in a Fiorentina career mode a while ago, and he he was actually really good. Um, I was impressed, not gonna lie. But, um, the team looks fine. The team's all good. I don't know. I'm just ready to get into it, you know? So, um, talking about the audio, I know the music is probably up really loud on this video. I will be changing that in the future, if I can. Um, I'll try to keep crowd noises on. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. Um, so this match, right, I ignore my training, by the way, I'm terrible at those games. This match, um, pretty sure it was pretty boring in the beginning, and I haven't played FIFA that much in a while, so I was trying to figure out what was going on, basically. And, um, a lot of this game was just me fooling around and trying to get used to my play style again. So I've kind of drifted away from it a little bit, I've been more... What's it called? I'm More. A bit I don't even mention, know. I just changed up my strategy for the game, and I didn't really like it very much. So. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and announce that the defending I had in this game. Look at that. That's an example right now. My defending was pretty bad. Um, I was very, very bad at tackling, and my space wasn't always the best. But I, know, I had quite a few interceptions, so that's good. But I let. Arsenal, they had some really good passing in this game, like, they, they, look at that, look at that, I got so scared when he turned like that, I was like, I'm gonna go down in like two minutes on my career mode, this is just great, but somehow he, my goalie was good enough, actually, Berkey's a really good goalie, I shouldn't say that, he's always been a really good goalie, anyways, I got a bit of a break here to try and do some fancy footwork around him, but I couldn't well. do it, so I just went ahead and died, basically. My, um, I was trying to fake shot there, and it didn't work out, unfortunately, but, oh well. So, um, basically, my team seems good, but I know what I need to change, and I know who I need to bring in. Kimpembe, for sure. I'm not going to announce any other targets on my mind at the moment, because I'm saving that for other videos, and... Yeah. Anyways, I have no idea how he missed that, but like I said earlier, Arsenal... Oh wait, no, Berkey saved it, that's alright. My goal is saved it. Goalkeeper, whatever. And that was worrisome, but my goalkeeper basically rescued my ass from that. And, um... So... Anything else I want to say would be... If you're interested in gaming... I'm gonna be making a channel on my on a second account soon. Wait, no, that sounded really stupid. I'm gonna be making a channel soon, right? Um, a second channel, of course. By the way, really good save from that keeper. Anyways, um, the second channel is gonna be all about gaming. This channel might be for a few other things, like I have a few opportunities for filming certain things in the town I live in, and I could definitely definitely go for it if I wanted to, but saving that for later. 
So, um, my camera, not my camera, my DVR, because I'm using game DVR at the moment, because I'm poor, um, cut out, and look at that terrible dribbling, I just gave it right to him. Basically, like I said guys, I'm, I'm not anything too special on YouTube right now, I just started, I've got an Elgato, but I don't have a proper computer to get up to right now, I'm working on it. But for now, I'm just, just trying to get by on what I can, you know? Um... I'm not too worried about it, you know. Anyways, um, I usually use possession and high pressure in these games because I'm not much of a a long pass through the defense kind of guy. I like I like using possession, you know, finding finding that little gap out of nowhere and just using it to my to my abilities. And high pressure has always been pretty good because you get the ball back pretty quick and it's basically the possession only more risky but, and more attacking. Anyways, um, the beginning of this game wasn't too exciting, I'll be honest. It, it wasn't, it wasn't going all that good, you know, even though I'll admit it. Anyways, look at this. See, look at, come on, man, you gotta head the ball harder than that, and I don't know. I just wasn't really finding any passes, because I was just trying to figure out what I was gonna do, you know? Anyways, it gets a bit better in a few minutes, don't you guys worry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that Arsenal, they're a very good team, and, you know, I've got, I've got quite a bit of time. I can talk about a few real-life things going on. Yeah. Said earlier, um, Arsene Wenger, you know, everyone wants him out, everyone wants him out right now, but I, I don't know, I think he should go out to be honest, as well, I agree, but, I mean, he, he could make it work with Aubameyang, if, if Aubameyang saves his ass, then that's good for him, but, I don't know, Arsene Wenger, he's a good manager, you gotta give credit to him. You know, Arsenal have one of the best academies in England. Anyways, um, back off that topic. Back on this topic, rather. Um, I got a free kick, and I was pretty un upset with Betchuai getting taken out like that, but here we go. I think, yeah, so, <laughs> should have moved that much more to the right. Anyways, here's my goal. This is, huh, no idea where that came from. Look who scored it as well, you'll see in a second. Freaking... Wait for it, Socrates. My 86 rated center back did a bicycle kick off the crossbar. Great start to my career mode, if you ask me. Um, that, that was amazing. I was so happy with that. You guys have no idea how excited and hype I got for that. I was legit, like, you know, I was doing the meme. Oh, the, the rap battle meme. I was so happy. Anyways, here we go again. Arsenal, they were they were quick to. What am I talking about? They weren't quick to do anything. Anyways, I tried faking a shot just then and it failed again. So that that was pretty upsetting. Um, I actually use quite a few skill moves. I don't know why I wasn't doing it this game. But, you'll definitely see it in a few up upcoming videos. It won't be. Anyways, here we go. And it will be. With their attack. What a ball, hey. And then he misses. No idea how he missed. I was like, they deserved that so much. I was like, crying when, that, when I saw that go through my defense like that. I was like, god damn it, I'm gonna lose. Cause that was such a good pass, you know? Like, I, I didn't even see that coming. But, I don't know how they missed. Anyways, I tried being a bit sneaky with a back heel, and he didn't run onto it quick enough. Kinda reacted pretty well. Anyways, we get, the, get the ball back midfield. I tend to do that a lot, but anyways, that worked. And then, I freaking pass it backwards for some odd ass reason. I thought I, I didn't think I was going to score, so I was like, I gotta score. Anyways, in this corner I tried doing the same thing, but it failed miserably. That's okay though. Uh, I still have the ball, and then I get a fake shot, right? But it goes right to the defender. How oh, great, right? Anyway, here we go now. Yep, I fake him at halftime. Sweet. Um, I know, I know, 
any viewers might be a bit bored at this stage, but I promise there's more goals to come and I will be trimming the videos. I, I don't really know, I just need software to do that at the moment, and I don't have it. Actually I do, I'm, I'm just like, this is an intro video, so I thought, what the hell. Use the time to talk to the fan, not the fans, I'm nothing. The, the viewers is what I meant. And um... This channel will have games, it'll have town events where I'm at, such as the drag racing, I might be doing that soon. Um, it'll be memes, they'll be memes, don't you worry. And there'll be a few aim montages, because I play Fortnite a lot, and I'm, I love that sniper, that bolt action sniper. Anyways, back to the game. Look at that through ball. Royce always makes very good runs. He's one of my favorite players. He's so usable, if you know what I mean. He's easy to attack with. His crosses are usually better than that. But he can also cut in and take a hell of a shot, too. He's just an all-around good player. Anyways, here we go. Arsenal on the attack, and i sure nothing happens. Oh, wait. No, I was wrong. Look at this. Oh, wait. No. He, fake, he destroyed my defender, but then my other one came back. That was good. Um, I recognize that I was using my first team. I'm pretty sure Arsenal weren't, so that makes me a bit worrisome because of my defending. But it's okay, you know? I'm not too concerned. It's not the actual season yet. Anyways, I get a few passes around. And he's right there, so why not? Look at this, look at this ping pong goal. Through his legs and I just was like, fuck it. Same goal. Um, like I said, ping pong. Was, I don't even know where that goal came from. It was so random. I think it all started from that through pass. I got too far into their defense and they didn't know what to do at that stage. Or the computer didn't anyway. But, um, I'll tell you right now. Arsenal were quick to respond. I was upset when I conceded like this. Watch this. Freaking ping pong back at me. It was such a ping pong. Look at that. Look at that. Ran and then boom. He gets the ball. Ping pong balled it into my defense. And it fell to him. Ozil. You asshole. No, I'm just kidding. Ozil's a good player. But um... Yeah, it's at this stage he's 2-1, so I'm thinking, it's okay, right? Look at that bullshit. I don't even know why I did that. Man, I miss a Bumiang, guys. Not gonna lie. Bumiang is just, it's just so useful. I hope they use their money wisely. Like, if they don't, I'm gonna be hella upset. I bet you why he turns out really good for our team, and they'll probably end up buying him because he's young, but I don't even know. I really miss Jurgen Klopp, but at the same time, I think last season was pretty good. With the bummying and his 31 goals, he will be missed. It was I tried doing the freaking rainbow flick, and... Kill myself, I'll tell you that. That did not work, and then I basically raped this guy. I haven't used any substitutes yet. I think I do towards the end. So, um, I see that this video is going to be 24 minutes long, and, um, again, guys, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I definitely will trim the videos in the future. I don't know. I, I know MGH does it. He does it really well. His edits are pretty good. But yeah, this would just be the intro video. Too much of me rambling on. I'm recognizing now, but I don't know. Let the viewers decide, right? Anyways, we got. How do you guys feel about Pulisic, by the way? I mean, he's he's a really good player. Anyways, I'm going I'm going to make a few substitutions now. But on um, Pulisic, I'm really um, upset about the United States not making the World Cup. Sucks pretty bad. Like, Pulisic, he's he's such a good player, you know? I thought he was going to take us places, and then Trinidad and Tobago comes and murders us. Murders our hopes and dreams. But yeah, um... 
my substitutions. I think they didn't do too much, to be honest. But um, I know I regret sub subbing Batshuayi out. Anyways, yeah, here's the next video now. Yeah, like I said, guys, I gotta use the stupid game DVR at the moment. Anyways, take a look at this terrible pass. Man. So, um, if I can't get Kimpembe, Shoni is definitely a second choice of mine. Anyways, look at that, look at that pass. Terrible. Ends up to nothing. Ping ponging. And too much ping ponging. Anyways, here's the goal. Look at this. What? Where did that come from, mate? He just turned around with two defenders near him. And he said, nah, fuck you. I've got this. In the bag. Look at that. Top right finish. That's brilliant. I'm really confident about having Batshuayi on this team. And he's, making, he's making me believe. I believe we can do it. But um, yeah, like I said guys, Kishoni could be a second option for me. Um, he'd certainly be a first team player. Look at that beautiful passing and then Welbeck just comes along and takes a shot out of nowhere. So selfish. I, I would have been like pissed if this was real life and I was a teammate of him. Anyways, look at this ball to Royce. Royce, he's always making those brilliant runs. Go ahead and successfully complete the fake shot. Now, I got really close, didn't I? Royce makes really good crossing decisions, but he scores three to one at the moment. And I'm thinking I've got this, and then he gets right there, and I'm worried because look at all those Arsenal players. I mean, Completely fucked everything up. Right to my goalie. Easy save. Look at that touch. I thought it was good, and then the freaking Arsenal player gets in front of me. I was like, what? Brilliant save from Berkey. Um, any viewers that might be watching, what do you think? Should I keep Berkey, or should I go for a more world class player? I'll tell you this in my 17 career mode, I stupid. Berkey was the top goalie in the league. Oh wait, I gotta commentate on this. Um, that was a bullshit tackle. I was really upset when that happened. I thought I was true on goal and that he came along and ruined my dreams. But basically, Berkey was like, he had the most clean sheets in the league and I accidentally sold him. Like I legit, I was just raising the price stupidly to like 60k, 60k, or 60 million, my bad. And the freaking Manchester United team they bought him for that, and I was like, what? His value's at 30 mil right now, and they gave me double that for Berkey. Hey, I'll take it. I, si I signed Lloris. He didn't even do as good as Berkey, surprisingly. Anyways, um, comment on that, and you know, guys, like I said, I'm new to this game. Um, I'm not FIFA, I mean YouTube. Trying to get everything sorted, trying to find a laptop that can help me stream on the Elgato, make every every bit of quality better. But for now this is what we're stuck with. Anyways, I appreciate anybody watching and um anyone that subscribes, anyone at this early stage, you you are loved. You know? I'm just beginning. I'll take what I can get. Even if you all tell me to go kill myself, I appreciate you watching this video, you know? Anyways I'm gonna I'm gonna stop that happy shit um tell me your thoughts on the video and i promise in future ones there will be cutting and trimming anyways thanks for watching guys subscribe please and i'm out of here totally forgot goal of the game goes to socrates